Trump was, I tracked my one of my favorite people in the industry down, Martin Villeneuve from Distec Controls. Martin is the president of Distec. And man, I'm always amazed at the stuff you guys are up to. Tell me a little about what's going on in Distec since last we spoke. Thank you, Eric. Uh, excited to see you in person again during AHR. Uh, yes, we have a lot of exciting stuff this, this year. So we're coming out of the pandemic. Uh, during the pandemic, we doubled down on our investment in R&D. Uh, basically, our mojo was, hey, we need to get out of it stronger than we enter it. Nice. So, and then after that, the component crisis just hit us. And uh, we focus a lot of energy in that to make sure that we can ship to our customers. So we've redesigned a lot of product with the available component on the market and a better component, uh, actually. And we were able to serve the wave without having any major uh, breakdown of our product chain. And I believe all customers were happy about that. Hang on, I got to comment on that real quick because as a Distec distributor, I got to say, we had lots of problems getting components from other manufacturers. We didn't have a single glitch with Distec. Uh, no surcharges. You guys were champs. You took care of us. You took care of our customers. And that's something both Stromquist and our customers will remember. So sorry to interrupt, but... Well done on that, my friend. Thank you for the comment. I'm going to make sure to relay it to the team of this tech because they work unbelievably hard in order to achieve this customer's satisfaction. So, but thank you for mentioning it. But now I'm happy to say that we're back at AHR. We're back with new product that have been released over the last couple years. And uh, we're about to release a lot of new ones as well, such as Eclipse Apex. So the latest controller of our uh, line, and we can see one just there, the Eclipse Apex. So this is really a beast. It's powerful. What's very interesting in that is that it can hold AI application. So we have an AI accelerator inside of it that is available for us to do any sort of HVAC optimization. So without having to have an AI in the cloud that when your system is disconnected, then it's going to run dumb. In this case, it's really the AI on the edge. And for, for that, for the use of it and for other things as well, we package Docker container application. So, you know, we used to have the computer running in the mechanical room that accumulate dust and uh, nobody knew the password after, after a while. So we don't want to do this anymore. So we want to run the, the, the application, the software application, in a panel on a computerized system. And you want to be able to install other type of add-ons to this, which might be not a this tech application. So that's why we're asking the digital partner pro program of this tech to containerize their soft software so we can install it locally on site and run it in our controller. So very, uh, very, very impressive. And uh, with that, we are releasing, or we just released Eclipse Building Intelligence, which is basically the firmware we had to develop for this controller, deployed edge to cloud on all our Eclipse plat platform. So this is something that we saw, we think it's hidden a, l a little bit, but it's gonna change the way we interact with building automation. It's gonna be now not only a backnet controller on site, but it's gonna be a true IoT edge to cloud solution. Well, let me ask you, that is really exciting. Now for an integrator that's installing, obviously there are advantages there, but for a building owner as well, talk, to, talk about some of the advantages for the building owner as well as for the installing integrator or the integrator. For the building owner, it's really a few, future-proof. Uh, when you're choosing a brand, it's going to be there in your building for the next 15 to 25 years. So you really want to make sure that anything that's coming up, any needs that the tenants might have in the building down, down the road, you're able to address it with the system that you have already installed. So that's, that's really the benefit of that. Uh, other product that we have released as well, Atrius Building Insight. So a full energy and sustainability dashboard, cloud-based. So you know all the ESG phenomena that most of the com company needs to, uh, to comply with? So they need a dashboard in order not just to monitor the energy, but also their car the carbon foot footprint, the scope one, the scope two, the scope three. 
Uh, this is very new for the system integrator community. They will probably need to learn it faster than we think. And we're having a tool, a cloud-based tool, in order to help them deploy this. So most of the building owner that they are installing a system in needs something to monitor their scope one, two, and three uh, carbon emission. That's the tool. You know what I love about you, Martin, is it's like, you know, if you've ever been hunting before, you don't shoot where the bird is, you shoot where the bird's going to be, and it seems like you guys are aiming in the right spot. Yeah. Definitely. And the last but not the least, I don't know if you know that, but uh, uh, over the last uh, five years, we've uh, developed a community, not only a community of system integrators that are using our prod product, but a community of what we call digital partner that have uh, a connection with this tech. So our system is so open that, it's, yes, it's easy to connect any system to it. But we've selected the best of the best in every category of, the, of what the building owner will need eventually in the building, like the signage, like the water treatment, like the indoor, uh, indoor positioning. Uh, uh, so there's more than, uh, in North America, we have more than 25 uh, digital partner. In Europe, we have more than 40. And these are qualified partner in which we are going to visit customers with and that have been tested with the system. Well, yes, right. You know, DISX is a global company. Uh, Martin, I'm so excited about what you guys are going on. I'm going to see if I can track down some of the other people and maybe get some more products to look at. But uh, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to speak with us. Thank you, Eric, and we'll speak to you soon. Awesome. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> well done.